Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Sony has been making a lot of waves lately. They've got the A7R III, really nice camera, very good performing, very highly rated. And now the A7 III, which could be the best value out there in full frame right now as far as the amount of features, technology, and capability it packs into a full frame body for the price. Uh, I know my good friend Peter Gregg is really enjoying his. Sony is really you know, came, came to bat hard here with the a7 III. They arguably rival Canon for the leader in dual pixel AF technology. That's what Canon calls it, but Sony's version of it um, arguably is better in some situations. I know my friend Peter Gregg, he seems to think so. But now, the new news, the new rumors that we're seeing online now is a Sony a7S III. So the A7S II and the A7S, those were the 12 megapixel uh, high ISO cameras. In other words, virtually able to shoot in the dark. Um, very, very good high ISO. But my question is, is there still a market? Are you guys still interested in an A7S III when we have an A7R III and an A7 III that are so good already at high ISO? And when they're already that good, and then you could take either that 42 megapixel file from the a7R III or that 24 megapixel file from the a7 III, you can export it down to an equivalent 12 megapixel, and it's going to basically clean it up. That's what tends to happen is because it's like a power file. You're shrinking it down, and when you down-res it, if you, typically if you up-res, you're going to introduce some artifacting, some loss of quality. A lot of time what we see when we down-res is, especially when it comes to high ISO, is that the image seems to clean up. So, in other words, you get a better high ISO uh, image by using a camera like the a7 III and then exporting it to a 12 megapixel file or even smaller. So, what do you guys think? Are you interested in a7S Mark III? Now that we have an a7 III that performs as well, an a7R III that performs as well, do you still think there's a market for this? Or would you just rather have an amazing all-rounder like the a7 III or a high megapixel stellar performer like the a7r3 let me know in the comments below i'm curious to see what you guys think of these rumors these announcements well i guess not announcement yet but the a7s3 is coming is there still a market for this do you still want one is it something you would buy let me know in the comments below let's discuss it uh always great to hear back from you guys I'd like to see take the pulse see what's going on out there um stay tuned we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com